the american education system very different from ours here do you want to speak uh, on that yeah yeah and then i was doing like form three with the people that i was in class with and then i had to redo it again what was it was it like it was much more no 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 uh, the cambridge system is way superior to to what it is that they're teaching oh, okay. uh, out there so okay so how does then um, this uh, collaboration uh, end up in moraki mokhosana who was um, the ceo of yarn fm uh, then well, how does that link up yeah happen? so yeah, when yarn fm were recruiting <laughs> they were thinking for brando you know i'm just yeah. like nah man talk about this deal because yeah, yeah. In in over a day, you guys stop driving that red. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, Converse to Riverwalk 66 airbags. Now yeah. you guys have coupes. No, no, BMW, BMW coupes. You need to change the like that. So give me numbers. So, you guys are what 21, 22 so, at so the for time. So for me, I was the I was the glue. I was I was the glue. The limos were there. They needed me to entertain. Yeah. So the top brass at Mascom, uh, Getting Bisco boy yeah. into the limo, Ribuale boy, and holding nice. These people were willing to listen. And around that time, now this is 2001. I got married, yeah. and then the whole executive were invited to my wedding as well. So they didn't need to allow hello, holy sharp, well, one or malita, malita, sharp. They mean well, but uh, acumen and, and Bisco's business acumen, yeah. you know, second to none. To none. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Podcast uh, right here at the Stay Well Hotels in Mogodita. I go by the name of SCAR. And uh, thank you so, so much for joining us on our sixth episode of our show, all right? And uh, today, totally because we're going to need all the minutes in these cameras, we're going to start off immediately. We're hanging out with uh, Mr. Lusika Siboni, a.k.a. Loose Boy, which is uh, mainly known for revolutionizing a uh, perception of radio and has inspired a whole generation of radio presenters, just like myself here. And uh, yeah, we have him in the house and we're going to talk about everything else that he's up to and also how he got into uh, broadcasting and eventually into advertising all after being a lawyer first. I mean, this is all kinds of crazy. So in the house today, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Loose Boy. What's up, S-C-A-R? I'm 6-1 of the world. The greatest thing that ever happened to podcasts. It's entertainment. <laughs> Podcasting. <laughs> lady baby. running around, making the crowd go crazy. Yes, sir. What's I'll going on? I'll even home? take your lady. <laughs> You're going to have to fight. <laughs> Like <laughs> always getting his dukes up. No, always Thank ready. you so much for having me here. Yeah, I think right. this is a great, um, this is a great uh, initiative. Yeah. Uh, you're bringing out different aspects of, of the life that we're living. Yeah. Uh, that needs uh, to have a light shown on it. Yes, sir. I'm so happy you came through and uh, yo. And the name I'll, as well, Udi. Yeah, cast. no, you know my label yeah. uh, back in the day, and these gentlemen were 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 willing. You know, people of different identities. I think it yeah. manifested into something else that's, that's from it. what we initially wanted to do but this is all about the people it's all about the people in bw who make it who the road less traveled pretty much you know what i mean yeah, you, yeah. you are one of those i just want to take it all the way back we all know that you know uh, no 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 uh, i want to know from the jump one or tiny, tiny tots and then from tiny tots <laughs> um, I put a booger on a white girl and then I got suspended there. Went to Jack and Jill. Oh, my uh, word. <laughs> Trade off with Shapuya. <laughs> <laughs> um, and where's all of this? I remember 1980. Was it 1980? Yeah. Um, yeah, we had to stop everything yeah, yeah. Uh, because it was part of the culture. <laughs> Watching the Prince Charles and Princess Diana wedding hey, okay. uh, at nursery school. Well, oh I'm telling you, you know, go, go, go camp school. But you know yeah. what? We're not going to go down this route long, okay? So you grew up in Gabs. I grew much. up in Gabs City. And, then, um, uh, and everybody, we all kind of stayed uh, in a similar area. So we started off in partial. Yeah. Uh, my mother was a, um, a student at, at the University of Botswana, eventually became a lecturer. Okay. Uh, after she pursued her master's, we moved to to village yeah. and that time there was no nanohang it was all a forest 
there was deflated the flats in the barrel you beat those BHC flats uh, that was like hunting ground for us i'm we'll trying to it. picture that though i'm trying to imagine like how did kaboroni look in, in, in around the 80s because um, like you say a lot of people your age around the circle that i've yes. seen you around it's like oh, most of you guys all grew up together in yes. this kaboroni how how would you compare Kaborone then to the Kaborone now? No, I mean, it's, I mean it's mumble jumble. Yeah. Um, there's like everybody everywhere, and yeah. um, uh, there are many many people that that I see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the population and the dynamics have changed completely. Yeah. Maybe also because we are also older, yeah. and a lot of us have. Have Absolutely. died as well, yeah. <laughs> you know. No, and also have died. But uh, uh, and then you go to the states. Um, it reads here you went to Thornhill, and then you went to Marapula School. Yeah, uh, you're still very, very close with Marapula School, and then you went to Makatai. Makati High School. Makati High yeah, yeah. School so, in so, San Francisco. So yeah, so so Thornhill was a real jump, you know. We yeah. are happy children, we're thankful and we're blessed. Uh, yeah. we go to Thornhill Primary. Oh god, I heard about that song. <laughs> you went, and our school's you, the best, oh the god. best. Yeah. Uh made it through to Map. I, yeah. I didn't I didn't I hadn't budgeted yeah. uh, to go to map yeah. uh, because uh zero where everybody was going. There's a school in phase two. Uh, CJSS. Maikano. No, it's Maikano. That's in G West. Eh, yeah, yeah, G West. Yeah. yeah, a lot of us went to, uh, to, to Maikano. So yeah. I thought, listen, I live in village. I'm, I'm closer to Nanoha. Yeah. Nanoha had just been built. Yeah. Uh, this is 1989. Okay. Uh, 19, yeah, 1989. So I'm poor. Why go So I, so so I, I was really down for it because it was great. Because you can imagine, how do you village? Yeah. Um. Yes, we did the hong hong hong. Yeah. Twenty twenty. Uh, we did we did the twing twang in the morning. Yeah. And then how did you say some man We get out of those clothes. Why was having to go abolo? Yeah. So uh, it was a really great balance. And you uh, still play some really good football. So oh, for you to go to. <laughs> To San Francisco yeah, yeah. in the States. What was that all about? So my mom was pursuing her PhD now. Yeah. Uh, and my young sister, man, I was, was very young. Yeah. And um, she needed someone to take care of, man. Yeah. And I was 14, going on 15 at the time. Okay. And I was starting my high school. Well, I started the freshman year. Okay. Because I'd already started from one, from MAP. Okay. Then I left after second term, did my freshman year at McAteer High School. Okay. It's a school of the arts. Okay. Uh, went out in, in school with some proper gangsters from Hunter's Point. It's a neighborhood. In Frisco, Air. arrived just a week before the big earthquake, mm-hmm. uh, seven point two on the Richter scale. When how was that bridge. like? That was like <laughs> that was like really interesting for a young African. Like, hey, yeah. hey <laughs> you know, it's happening out here. Air. But that experience was really was you know was really really weird for me because mm. uh, I was trying to associate a lot with my people because yeah. that was the time of public enemy fight the power. South Africa uh, is going through apartheid. W- when people used to wear the medallions, yeah, yeah. I didn't have any black American friends. <laughs> <laughs> African Americans yeah. actually were intimidated by Africans, yeah. and they looked down or tried to shun up, to sh- you know, like, to like, shun them down. Yeah, yeah. My dad did a lot of of, of schooling and traveling, and Tata and I, he couldn't stand black Americans. Like no, I never really got it because we were watching TV, and then we we'll love them. But mototo and tengwa inara yeah. No, I was out there. I was, yeah, that's it. Word. So they used to come out here. I'm like, yeah, why, why, why do you guys talk like this? Because you know, you guys are from I ain't from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Hunters Point, you know, yeah. Third Street, throwing up gang signs, you know. But but that experience was really weird for me. So my best friend was an American Indian guy called yeah. uh, Nathan Rich. Uh, you know, got to, got into the culture. Yeah. Uh, played baseball. Yeah. Uh, and I had started playing softball here. Yeah. Uh, made it onto the baseball team, and then I made it onto special teams. Cause for you to get any attention from the girls, you, play you had to play a little bit of sport. Basketball, yeah. we couldn't mess with them because those <laughs> people are born with that thing. <laughs> but football, I could play. But they had me there as kicker. Okay. Cause as an African, at least I knew you which direction, <laughs> which direction to kick the ball. So I was asking. <laughs> but to be on the team, that was like some swag, though. Yeah, hey, special yeah, teams. Cause, yeah, cause yeah, no chase out all on the bus with your helmet yeah. from like a tear jaguar. Wow, that was a really great man. team that uh, that went all state. You made the team. I made the team. Come on, Papa. I did play soccer though. <laughs> yeah. um, couldn't make the first team. I was on the bench, uh, but I did get to play in the well, final. I mean, come on, You're still playing right now though. How couldn't you make it in a team there? Because there are mis- Mexicans, Brazilians, oh, and Guatemalans. Yeah, James, we don't want to play soccer. We're going to go to Orale, Orale, Vato. We used to call me Pele. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but I wasn't Pele. Uh, but you know, I, I held I held my own. Yeah. Played in the city final okay. in a racist neighborhood with yeah. the Hispanics in the SA state called the Mission District. Yeah. So that was scary. Anyway. I'm gonna bring you back to Gabs because yeah, because yeah. So yeah, I came back, came back, came back to Map. Mm. Uh, the American education system very different from ours here. Do you want to speak uh, on that? Yeah, yeah. And then I was doing like form three with the people that I was in class with, and then I had to redo it again. 
Uh, what was it? Was it like it was much more advanced? No, 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 no. Uh, the Cambridge system is way superior to, to what it is that they're teaching oh, okay. uh, out there. So, but you can <laughs> to a point where yeah. I was even, my dad then took me out because it's like we're wasting money. So, wasting we time, yeah. Yeah. so, I went to school for two days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but when Peter was the principal then, so you think I can come to that school? You're making little moves with my mom. <laughs> so, we got this. I think, so she hadn't cancelled me eh. and my then girlfriend who was like the flyest chick ever um, <laughs> her name was Dudu I'm not going to say her last name because she will kill me you actually <laughs> quoted here on, on the Sunday standard on the quote priests would gather to exercise whatever demons had a hold on my t- on his tongue on my tongue the police would jump up at a chase to lock him no some lady got the so I'm looking at this I'm like alright how did we come from this yeah, yeah. person to uh, someone who studies law and is actually a really good student. And, and, and right now, you're an amazing son-in-law because we can all see how much of a family yeah, guy you it. are. Okay, you know? Hey, we're back in the So, mm. the law part, <coughs> how did we go to you be and become... Yeah, so that's how it is. So, yeah. um, so, what then happened is that my dad then said, listen, if you don't improve your grades, yeah. and my then-girlfriend only could work and she said she was going to leave me. So, I'm just like, nah, I'll tell her chick. Uh, um, uh, Sheikha's sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Maybe yeah. she doesn't want her name uh, mentioned on, on Throwing the podcast. Thrown out there. Yeah. Guess what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Olsen. <Olsid. laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway. Um, yeah, ultimatum, go to school, do your Go to school, so I just said, listen, I need to... I need to I need to keep my things intact. Yeah. Uh, I had I had I had her support and my mom's support, mm. and I really aced them, you know. Yeah. Uh, killed it with an 18 aggregate. Um, uh, made it to Tirolos Chaba. <laughs> um, lived out in Luhututu for a year, and there was a lot of controversy, a lot you know that happened in that thing because I didn't mm. know a, a number of things. Uh, my best friend Daddy K, yeah. he was dating this other girl called Sidi. So this is what I do. So. I'm trying to get this chick to like give me a baby pack. So one day she should give me this baby pack. Yeah. And I'm next to like this 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 um this church. Yeah. So I went to church and then So in the Kalahadi district, that means there's a serious there's thing a happening. Yeah. There's a problem. Or Hosi talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maluda, really. Because people are going there <laughs> and I'm just walking back and I'm working in the cause because I'm I'm pursuing law. Hey. So people are coming to court and they say, ah, that's a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm So yeah, I was, in a, I was in a lot of trouble. And then one time I got picked up by the tiny police because you're not allowed to like, so there was a picture of the then president uh, it was just this before was KKJ Masiru, yeah. just before he uh, he handed the, the reins to 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 Lefesto. Yeah. So as as children, everybody. Yeah. So there was this picture there. So hora lor hona spine hora ke drodi na ka ke punya matwale. You've done that before, again. I'm no, so I wasn't from trying local to mix the, it. symbols of the the devil with the president's picture. No, no, but I, I didn't know. So hora ke lebala ho ke alanching, and then they pick it up. Ebo kote hora this guy wants to start a revolution. Kitu kwa na kitu agi kali haga kio. So okay, this uh, class clown uh, thing has not left you that much uh, uh, at this uh, at this age. Is it is it like a listen that one? No, I want to I want to ask that. Honor, is this a front for a genius? Maybe so, huh? But uh, it was ADD yeah, back then. Because at the same time <laughs> you're out here pranking all of this, but at the same time you're performing. Yeah, yeah. And it's similar to now, yeah. throughout the years, yeah. where it looks like ah, Lucia is coming in here with the jokes, but then. So, so, so who gets but, the but, job done? But it was a mixed masala because yeah, yeah. at the same time as this is happening, yeah. I'm now making music with Dave Balsha. Yeah, yeah. And Drastic. Dave Balsha is uh, Drastic's trying to get me to jump because he's from Sacramento. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Frisco. Come on now. Oh, from in Africa. Africa. Frisco, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's so, so yeah, we speak in Cali. We speak, we speak, we speak in Cali tongues. What? Um, <laughs> he's trying to get me into, onto TMO. Okay. And uh, travel Baji, monks. Ba- yeah, travel monks. And, and Baji, Baji's just not feeling me. He's just like, nah, nah. David Skizo. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah, not you need to me. watch out for, for these names. <laughs> you know? So Baji is David Skizo. Dave Belcher is another member of the travel monks yeah, group, yeah. Um, which was. I mean, how, how did Bonobo Travel Monks come about? Because I know you, you got that rhyme that you always spit. 
Yeah. How come you didn't get into what type of monks? How hard I, I was really it to was get into the I really was then? supposed to, but you know, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't stress it too much yeah. because it looked like it was just like it was nearly and you know, I was a bit of an outsider. You yeah. know, Mogi Bear and Sounds really try to get me, <laughs> inside you there, know, to yeah. jump in there. Um, but it's cool. So anyway, Dave and I uh, got a, got a little song yeah. song out, and then. That didn't do, didn't do too well. Then there was Brown Sugar, yeah. and CD really liked the way I used to rap. Yeah. And when RB2 started, I used to do like, you know, like jingles, and like stuff. jingles for okay. for like DJ Fresh. Hello, okay. you reach the mother funky FM 103. Hit that verse. Hit that verse. It's like a mech. I'm in the house with the faculty. My homeboy is kicking ish with the boom and bash. He don't stop. He's the friggity funky DJ. DJ Fr- Fresh. DJ so Fresh. he gets the name friggity funky from that rhyme. My guy. Yeah. No, I remember the yeah. drop yeah, thing in the hey. DJ Fresh. That's yeah. mostly what I remember. That's it. So I Freaky Funky baby. comes from there. Yeah. <laughs> so from then, I then hooked up with a chick from Brown Sugar called uh, TD. TD. Yeah, not the hook up, hook up. Yeah, the light skinned chick. The Beyonce. Uh, yeah, and then we did a song and she did the hook. Take it, take it. Hey. Take it, take it. Oh the my nigga. God. Okay, I want to picture this. So where were you guys all recording? Because I remember talking Joe, to... Joe, Joe, Joe. His name was Joe... The colored guy, we did we did the song, yeah, yeah, Eddie Clop with Itzile Moch. Oh, Joe Morris. That. Yeah, Joe Morris. Yeah, oh, Cobrot yeah. has to go back to the Yeah, so yeah, that's where we went. Okay. There's a mad mag take it, yeah, freak oh the fuck. God. I recorded my people, man. Like, real, to real, I like to move it. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that, that rhyme is like 1990 something thick, you know? So this seems like there was a, a, a move towards more uh, more urban youth. Type uh, yeah. uh, stuff going on with the tribal monks. The yeah, yeah. I mean, living versus because, time was out because I mean, this is when Busangoma song were coming out, and that hey. was a real hip hop to me. Wizards you know, like, uh, of the desert, yeah, with Wizards of the desert. Boom, sticky, 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 here comes the yeah. song. Yeah. And I'm coming from America. I'm like, that ain't real hip hop, you know. Um, but it was this flow. You know, chickadee, chickadee, mag, chickadee. I yeah. come from the states. Yeah. Wasn't that the flow that was being used? But it guys was. Using it was. But my, mine was slightly different. It was a mixture. No, of No, you did funky. funky. Yeah, well, chickadee, mag, yeah, chickadee, check, yeah, chickadee, chickadee, mag. Yeah. So guys were doing that flow, though. Yeah. So while why but they were not doing it properly? Like third mind wasn't hip hop to me. Yeah, we're gonna get to that because these clicks. I'm yeah. trying to understand. These seems to have been Botiemo, the third minds, and, and then the independence. No, the rich kids. Um, what, which 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 kid? Lou and the Bo- B- Bisco and oh no no that was a, that was a different ball game all okay together, yeah what was it had nothing to do with the, the hip hop scene the amount of clicking that was going on there what yeah, was yeah. that all about because I mean you, you, we're, we're gonna move forward to like yeah, 1998 yeah. no it was really basically who could get the best chick and who's got the best rhymes it was really about that so it where was, did you guys face muscle off? huh where did you guys and face off? come with the bigger car <laughs> <laughs> So where were these face-offs? Because yeah. I'm trying to get a picture going on. Okay, here are all these clicks, and these guys are in the small Kaboroni city. Well, but I guess I understand each other. other. So this, hey. this then I became I became a, a Tiralos Chaba legend, hey. uh, especially in the Kalahadi area with these rhymes. And this song really blew up because hey. Nerebena did cassette and made sure that that thing people went. People got it, yeah. yeah. People got it, and that thing went viral. Managed yeah. to get it on RB2. Yeah. So by the time I, I'm now done and I'm at the University of Botswana, yeah. Uh, Bisco had already known, you know, about like this really cool cat. So he came sorting you out. Yeah, he, came he did. Looking for you. And when I got a friendship, I like, yeah, because happy to see you. the states. And before, when I had just come back from the states, yeah. And I got a jacket from Tabo Raiders, like a Raiders jacket. How we are Peru boy, I go South Africa, like at international school. You could get a check from that jacket. So I got a lot of money. I got a lot of money. Things are very simple. Yeah. No, I got a lot of time. I link up with these older sisters. I got a lot of money. I don't find any simple jacket. That's but it. I, I, I want to get into your name. Um, the colonial, Ted Lapidas. Eh? So by 98, were you still in UB? You're on your third year, I get to UB. So this yeah. is when, how did the radio pass? So it? what then happened was um, uh, we, we started we started the hustling then yeah. and, and showing guys how it's done. This uh, is when you guys writing, started doing Yeah, this. so started writing magazines. Um, uh, I had jumped on uh, a really big campaign around Sunday time, starting a friendship with uh, the, the then U.S. Ambassador Joseph Huggins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that uh, so that advocacy for us as youth to like get tested for HIV, it was becoming a bit of an enigma, you know. Yeah. Was, um, was that, but was that before, or after Yarona? Because I'm trying it to just get started, to Yarona. It started around the same time. Was uh, around the same time. So Yarona magazine, I think I saw the. So the, we the started. Cover. We started those with Yarona magazine mm-hmm. uh, around 98, 99. Mm-hmm. 
And, um, you know, I, I think they had me on one of the covers uh, as yeah, well. I, I but think before I saw a copy that, of it. Yeah. But before that, he just needed me because my tongue was kind of witty. Yeah. And I knew the lecturers. Yeah. So I've always, like, been working. So when I was in America, I used to work, work at a Foot Locker. Okay. When I came back here, I used to be a research assistant. When my mom was a lecturer, I would get people to, like, enter data into their computers. So making money was, like, something that was, like like alien to other people so when bisco and i hooked up yeah. he knew so bisco enterprises knew it's like yo listen dude we've got this mobile car wash red laser dikolo you just need to bring in the work uh yeah. and bring in the guy so dikolo is a as a student making the money out of the school yeah. having the mobile car wash and then started doing the magazines and the events okay so how does then um, this uh, collaboration uh, end up in Lord Moraki Mokhosana, who was um, the CEO of Yarn FM uh, then well, how does that link up yeah happen? so yeah, when Yarn FM were recruiting <laughs> they were thinking about Brando, you know, I'm just yeah. like, nah, man, uh, that ain't the real, yeah. honestly speaking. Yeah. Um, when I'm chilling with the homies and whatever, yeah. it's always a jump, you know yeah. what I mean? I yeah. said I could take that uh, and everything else, yeah. uh, you know, poking holes in uh, in the eyes of, of, of the then president. Uh, I said I could take a lot of that wit and... And, and, and that quick tongue and, and, and my rhymes and yeah. just understanding history and being a, a law student. Yeah. So what, yeah. Were, were you ever going to be a lawyer? I mean, when you were doing all of this stuff, well, were you well, were I making am. money? Yeah. Then now you're about to get onto the first private radio station in the country. That's it. What, 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 that, that was the plan, though. I mean, mm. I did practice. You must, you must remember. So mm. what then happened was um, we're making all this money. We're creating all these shows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how we're not selling any colleagues about society, rap again. Maybe like I'm not happy. Nelly the care, but then Nelly the brand deal, rap. What the? Some messed up. Yeah, that was yeah, that was more. That was more. That was more uh, eating's deal. Yeah. But what then happened is that then the first cellular network was coming onto the onto the onto the market. Yeah. They didn't know what to do, and were the young, hip and happening people. They wanted to penetrate the market in yeah. that way. And it was similar. The phone in in. Yeah, because not everybody could afford. Uh, a, a, a cellular set, uh -huh. but also doing the, the the distribution of the airtime. Uh -huh. So I was there when those deals were being closed. Guys, okay, we need to talk about this deal because yeah, yeah. In in over a day, you guys stopped driving that red. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, Converse to Riverwalk sixty six airbags. Now yeah. you guys have coupes. No, do you change BMW coupes. Do you need to change like that? So give me numbers. So, you guys are what twenty one, twenty two so, at so the for time. So for me, I was because what then happened was I was the glue. The limos were there. They needed me to entertain. Yeah. So the top brass at Mascom. Uh, Getting Bisco boy yeah. into the limo, Ribuwa limo, and holding nice. These people were willing to listen. And around that time, now this is 2001. I got married, yeah. and then the whole executive were invited to my wedding as well. So they didn't need to allow hello, holding sharp. Well, one hour, malita, malita, sharp. They mean well, but their acumen and, and Bisco's business acumen, yeah. you know, second to none. To none I mean, yeah. that guy, you yeah. know, he wanted the whole damn world. Yeah, and. He used to ask me though. He's like, "Namona, don't you want to own like a chopper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to clown around. Who yeah. did drink drink it? That's that's it for you." I'm like, "Listen, yeah. really, if you buy that chopper, <laughs> 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 hey, so uh, my ambition yeah. is just yeah. You're here, you know. You make the money. I'll have yeah. a little bit of it. Yeah. Uh, so the re let's take it back a little bit. When you go, you go. This radio station. What are you guys so, called? So, how? so so 1999. Uh, the relationship with Mascom started when I became an instant hit. Yeah. And then Bisco used that as leverage yeah. to tell Mascom that everybody in the youth is listening to this, this guy. particular guy. Yeah. So he went to pay, say, hello. Already <laughs> 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 uh, managed to charm him to be able to say he's an agent, yeah, Mascom. Yeah. And he, we started cashing in from that. Okay. So before Yarneja Kata and Nokonal Kata Bisco and Nikita Kaja would be like, wow. And then my salary was like it was it was a lot. It wasn't as high as Robin's, you know. Well, I'm gonna get to that because there was that rivalry between you and Robbie Rob from where yeah. I was. No, I couldn't expatriate. So, <laughs> 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 so how how was it like the the Husimon Lagone Maragaraga style? Uh, was that the first show or was it Lechoto? It was Lechoto. It was Lechoto. Lechoto, which was a lunchtime show. Eh. Lechoto meaning, you know, Ragaola, eh. and so on and so forth. Lechoto, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, okay, so who was uh, the... Who was mentoring you in this in this relatively new space? I mean, a lot of people, never say it's like radio presenters personally. Yeah. How, how did you... What was your blueprint? Because you came in and it just popped off. Yeah, yeah. 
it, it was the and, and people always ask me this thing and and here's the magic to it okay yeah. uh, Artists generally are stable. Yeah. Why is not how stable? <laughs> <I am? laughs> I know. So we can entertain ourselves. And they used to ask me, they said, so what's the magic? Why are you, why are you different from other presenters? I said, ah, because I find Lucica to be an interesting guy. Yeah. So I entertain him first. And if that guy is entertained, Absolutely. ah, then the rest of you, you are captured. Yeah. And that's exactly what it was. You know what I mean? It, and it just comes with being able to just be in front of the mirror, talk to yourself and, and do and, 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 and do and do whatever. Play 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 mind tricks with yourself yeah. and translate translating that to, to, to radio. I also want to speak to you on uh, the the language like that you used, you know. No no you're you're good at co out situati, all of it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like you're a mixture of all of these cultures. Mm. How did you know that was the language to speak to those people? And did you know that at the time Yarn FM would turn out to be you know what, what it, it was today. Listen, I was speaking, like I said, I was speaking to myself and mm. how I how I hang with you. Yeah. How you drinking, but addressing yeah. my listenership in the same way. Yeah. I didn't know that was gonna work out. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, who comes up with this stuff? Like, I'll get him to the radio station. I know everybody wants to speak to Loose Boy three nine one one zero six six. Yeah. And then people will call three nine one zero six. How's it? Where are you yeah. calling from? Give yeah. me block five. I can make it like a hacky. No, but I'm very bad. I'm going to have a mama. Mama, extension nine. Pack a line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what what was the, the, the broadcasting environment back then? I mean, you guys were disrupting uh, the status quo yeah, as yeah. it was. Propaganda, you never say every single king. week. And I really give it up to Pesci yeah. Daddy because it was really protective. I mean, there was one episode where where they were. You know, the, I was I was conducting a competition, and this lady na ne so romla di poso karne ma ne so romla di poso. I was amati buduko nikan. Was the whole delegation ne di kosa amati buduko ne di kosa na came. You know, ba hum ba hum pesi. Ne ba hela ka pena kwa te. You know, but pesi was able to to guard against that. I did a mock um. I did a mock riot. Yeah. It's the time when UB students we used to write about. Well, right, yeah. yeah, I think Fairly I listened to that Fairly show. Which we shall do it. Do it. Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But at the, time, at the time, though, because like I'm saying, right now we're in an era where people take offense to almost everything. Yeah, the social media is so big on cancel culture. You know, do you think Luchoto would survive right now? I don't. I think we're competing with many different types of things. <laughs> Possibly so. Possibly so, yeah. but there's no straight answer. But I'm, I must say, you know, the the modern day uh, on air personalities competing with, you know, stuff on on YouTube, yeah. competing with stuff on TikTok. So for us, it was different because they learn the meme. So we're inventing stuff. What well, did you hear that one? You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. What what do you miss about broadcasting then, as compared to to right now? I mean. I, I guess more people are sensitive and, yeah. you know, you can't just up and cross mm. someone, hey, you are this, you are that. It's about what mm. a person identifies with, you know, that changing even people's pronouns and all yeah. of that. How, yeah. how do you think, you know, where, uh, do you think it's a good time? Is it? Is it a, I really don't know how to ask it. Is it a, is it a good time for, for being a broadcaster or do you think, Hori, you know, some of that old uh, uh, spice and whatever we were doing back then is much better than what we're getting now? No, I mean... <laughs> I know you're, you're talking about homosexuality. Okay? Well, you, your <laughs> yeah. words. <laughs> Get out of room. Um, these days now, it's like you have to, you know, you have to, you know, walk on eggshells, you know, yeah. uh, or walk around particular issues. Whereas with us, it was, it was totally different. Uh, you can't call a spade a spade uh, because you're sounding borderline homophobic, yeah. or you're. Or you're sounding this, or you're sounding that. But all, all it was just okay. You yeah, know? you could see. Just to say, you know, Robbie Rob is there. Yeah, no king karu. King karu wa atlanga mo studio yana. Naru mo goro goro nanza. Nanza wa wa nanza mo studio. Yeah. But yeah, you you have to be very gender sensitive. You have to be. Uh, you have to. You cannot tread on anything that, that that's borderline tribalistic, and so on and so forth. But mm. yeah, this is the culture of today. It's sensitive. Lebanon and Bahrain are very sensitive. We 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 work with people. We employ people in our companies that are coming from 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 universities yeah. locally and internationally. They are not work ready. That's their children. Hey. Yeah. So okay. we're, we're dealing with many different dynamics, and I guess we'll talk a little bit about that later. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. A broadcasting culture. Then it was really fun. 
uh, people understood uh, we were really pushing the barriers. Like yeah. I said, mock the whole riot. Mm. Uh, again, gets an but Pessy was very was very protective. And a lot of a lot of the times people thought I used a lot of bad language. But I, I want to ask about that because I, I don't think you've actually sworn on the radio. But I, 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 because some people have a talo anyo ruwi rambata bare. Hey, oh no, you're wrong and Did no, you ever people, swear on no, the radio? No, no, never though? ever. I, mean, I think people used to swear at me. Hey, hey, I remember that. I, maybe I'd respond so Maluza oh I want to get Hone me how we sell. Time I went away to we You used to also so, catch them. <laughs> so yeah, so used stuff to, like that. You used yeah. to catch them also when they were yeah, about yeah. to do it. And I don't know how quick you were. Did you just have your hand over the thing like this? Yeah, yeah, no, case? no, no, no. Always, you have to be ready. Only hey. loose boy shirt was very serious. Any, yeah. At any point, someone would come out and cast. Yeah, well, yeah. Did that um, affect your No, no, it was just with ended MAR, just before the. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I but, want to talk about your relationship now on uh, the Botswana <laughs> Telecommunications <laughs> Authority. Um, yeah. About uh, the broadcasting licenses. As someone who is not a problem, you can't see it. You can a license. Hey, hey. Get just a license. Uh, what do you know about the BTA's rules on revoking people's licenses? Can it just happen just because the presenter made something, said something wrong? I'm sure you've been to their offices and you've had a conversation with them. Yes. Hey, I think for, for anyone who's doing broadcasting on, on terrestrial radio right now so that they know the line, because I think a lot of these private radio stations are just... No, no, but that's why kids. you have a disclaimer, you know? That's why you have a disclaimer. Yeah. The views expressed on this show uh that disclaimer is very important yeah. it's quite telling uh, uh no, we have a disclaimer on our show now yeah 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 no no it's really important you know Robin okay. no, okay. no, I'm I'm no, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> Did you consider yourself a shock jock? And do you think there's space for shock jocks right now? No, no, I used to shock. I used to shock. I used to shock myself sometimes as well. Mm. What is it? Is is is, is, it, is it over? Is that line of of of, of, of um, broadcasting done? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the level of creativity. Or people are also sensitive, and people don't want to lose licenses. And then the political influence as well. People want to sound politically correct. Yeah. We didn't have a. Ch- we didn't. We had no time. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as Ski jumped in. I, I gave away 106.6 pillar from my own pocket. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we ran those competitions. Yeah. I phoned Office of the President. Uh, so, whiskey, we're at Thanksgiving. That could still sound shocking, like, today. You even pranked Lynetta, Norman Mulebore, the former... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. did you do with that one? No, no, no. 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 And it's so funny that all say? of these people, we ended up actually becoming friends. Yeah. Just to say, oh, it's that one. So, because now people knew that it was, it, it was not serious. Yeah. And it was harmless humor. Uh, then it just became acceptable uh, in society, which what, is which is really weird. Were you ever um, scared for, for for your well-being in in the streets uh, when you were walking around because of some of the the antics that you pulled off? I think so, radio? but I think maybe that's where Bisco comes in because they knew we had the guns and we had the, <laughs> yeah, we had the big cars and <laughs> we had the baddest babes yeah. and yeah, so it was. But it, you know, on that front, there were a lot of people who used to say. You know, we want to find a way to be able to get to these guys, especially go Francis Town. Yeah, but yeah, I did, I did get a, a number of attacks also from, you know, from different cliques within the University of Botswana itself. Mm-hmm. I had Bedu as well, but every time these guys pass na umura, something happens. Bedu ke habona atabuga yala koko netare alishele ya so. But I nah, on our internet, we won, we won a queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I yeah. want to talk about your relationships with Tin Yarn FM because, like, they, you and Robin are alpha males. Yeah. Um, you're also very creative. Um, very creative as compared to like the roster there when Nani Kilibel, for sure there's going to be a butting of heads um, between you two. Yeah. Do you guys get along? We really do. Yeah. We really do. How but was it then, back then? But back then, we didn't get along because they wanted to do 
um you know i don't know i don't know how management is yeah but yeah like uh you, you manage by by making sure by making that guys but yeah, yeah but his and yeah. make sure that there's a separation so yeah. his upper hand was the money for me it was the numbers yeah, yeah so i could have actually just been like nah because yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah him and otis were at, at a point and much more yeah. but when the research is done everybody would like their own because yeah. it's only natural that, that you get it. that love but in terms of technical skill mm. understanding the rules of radio <laughs> 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 but it's like, you know, and you also used to live with the same song like you can hate me now yeah that's it i've so never seen anyone do it playlist, maker, guys don't try and mess with this yeah. as it is yeah. friday after five o'clock on that drive time show you, can, you don't uh, come around yeah see, see me in the, the week, week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so let's talk about your know, broadcasting the rules when did they start becoming a factor let's say you know programs managers coming in and telling you that you need to have show prep yeah this is a playlist because i'm sure when you guys first started yeah like i'm saying you ended the show with the same song so no programs manager there's a playlist how did this thing slowly get into where there's influence now from management about yeah. what you do on air because it, it felt a bit like you know you guys you had your prep you could do what you were doing yeah. but there wasn't that much control from no the no other. not at all because i produced my own show hey hey i'm the producer so how did it slide in and how did you respond to it and is that why you no 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 but it was there was nothing you could do like yeah. if, if you are uh, if you're managing loose boy what are you gonna what are you gonna bring so you is know? that why you left like what nearly on the constant budding of heads like when you left was it 2002 yeah why did you why why did you decide to to leave your like to bounce like well um i think those guys you know, I love them now, but then it was abuse. Yeah. Uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No, but the people about don't know. Blind. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was really borderline abuse, uh, favoritism, mm. um, and I just felt that I wasn't being paid what I was worth. Yeah. Because I was six one of the world. I was the six one of the world. I was yeah. really that big, but yeah. you know, I didn't know it at, at, at that particular time. I was already now starting to do. You know, interviews with Fed Joe when the Fed Joe show was quite big. Yeah. Um, there was an opportunity after Kabzela uh, died mm. uh, for me to do his Saturday morning show. Damn. Um, and Kabzela's show was quite huge. Yeah. So they were going to get a Mutsana to come in there so I can just get there because not in South Africa. Again, let's make a <laughs> <laughs> so, golden opportunity. Mutsana was in, into it. And then my, my it was, a, it was near the Kenya line. So my, yeah. wife, my wife then said, um, uh, no. I remember yeah. you telling me she was so happy when I quit that yeah. other time. <laughs> She's never had time for them. <laughs> so it was really, it was, it, it, you know, it was, it was a big eye opener. And yeah. then in 2001, as well, I had started a company called Synergy. Synergy. And uh, it's Synergy uh, Advertising. Uh, it was a breakaway of Horizon Ogilvy. Okay. And um, my tata was supposed to join us. So he ended up not going and he remained with Norma and Tondarai. Uh, Dalo. <coughs> uh, uh, was it still Horizon Ogilvy? It was Horizon Ogilvy okay. then. But I worked with Gerald Mashonga, who was the craziest uh, creative director uh, ever. I know, like I know Gerald. He's from Zim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Project a guy Gerald. called Roy Valentine because those guys understood that Valentine. industry quite well. Yeah. Now my job was just to bring in the work yeah. and it worked like a charm. Why did you start? Because I, I was telling my, my lady earlier, when I work, I know you are pretty much one of the people who started this whole uh, I'm going to get a law degree and just get into business and not yeah, but remember, that. I did practice uh, with Mudimu and Mudimu. You see Tete. how I don't remember that? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I practice, so, that so from radio, yeah. I would um, I would I would go to work uh, in the morning at Mudimu Toting yeah. uh, BBS. Yeah. Uh, then um, go do the the, the lunchtime show, yeah. and then uh, go back uh, go back to to Mudimu after afterwards after work. Yeah, but I didn't actually go back after work. <laughs> I started. The Rita did a little brand. He was in the studio. Hey. So, I had a receipt book. Hey. Oh, so, you're doing this. Um, <laughs> so, I used to, I used to, when I knock off, yeah. I would take that book and then I recorded the advert. I had mm. a little tape recorder. Keep on Sabbath. Because most of the ads at that time, let's say it's on South Africa. So, we were like a testic rice. Hey, we were like South African ads. Uh, that used to play on our radio stations, especially Car B2. Yeah. So I then started creating uh, wow. content and going to companies after work. Yeah. And then that's how. Because they were listening to you. So that is book natal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, you know, this money making thing was always there. <laughs> they called it, yeah, hey, you, you are hitting him a loser there. Yeah. But I was told, <laughs> but, those radio, but those companies. So that's still, what they meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> under the table yeah so but 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 it was it was it, there was nothing legal about it yeah. it's just 
and those companies will come back and 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 also and advertise proper and advertise and on, on on the radio station yeah. as well. So that's how the bug so beat you for advertising. So that's how the the idea of advertising, uh, uh, you know, came into my head. Okay. Met this guy, uh, Bissau is the one who actually met the guy, and the Bisco said, listen, there's this dude, he's deadly, mm. uh, we can start the company together. Okay. And Bobu Kati were there, they had started doing some some big things. Uh, Monamitsi, um, eating, running mess cab, uh, and doing the airtime deal. And this was the crew? This was the crew. UK Jack, Phones then, for you. He, and then he started phones for you, and then Abaita, he, he was a bit more <laughs> open than we were. So now he just got the... Uh, you got the blueprint yeah. uh, and then went and started phones for you and uh, knocked I, them out right I saw it in Malawi. Huh? Phones for you. Yeah. I saw it in Malawi. I was Humongous, like, you yeah. know So no, it was a really serious time, but there was a lot for everybody to do. I mean, we oh. were doing gigs with Channel O. Yeah. Yeah, once filled up Cricket Club. Yeah. Tons of money in our pockets. Yeah. Uh, we had some of the local gangsters help protect that money. We didn't have the police <laughs> protecting us with that money. But yeah, that was... That's really how you... Uh, no, okay, but I was number one advertising agency when I was synergy advertising. And what happened to it? I mean, you, right now you are doing f- footprints advertising. How how long did you go on with so your we went, we went we went for a, for a while. Uh, yeah. For a little while. In, t- in 2007, uh, we had won... 2006, we had won the Global Expo. Yeah. I was like, now we're dealing with millions. You yeah. know, here we are, young guys. We don't know what to do with ourselves. But we're also running magazines. We used to do the Furniture Mart magazine, which mm. was for the Naf Prop Group. Uh, started a new magazine called L Magazine. So yeah. Narada was hiding never blind. Eh? Blind, so the blind. Namo said he would make sure I'm back home, but he would be with the models. Yeah. You know, what's Yeah. Um, then 2006, I think the Zimbabwean community got to him. Barurli. Bari, we ramadi for this bushman. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's then he writes he, he writes a letter to to Global Expo to say this guy's a lazy goat, he does nothing, he's always clowning when he comes to your office in the meetings, but I'm the one who's actually doing the work. So Neil Kanya risk. Master Khua Muamba then called um uh Mr. Mosenini to say, listen, dude, this is a risk. Mm. Let's just close it up. But we're towards the end of the contract anyway. Hey. But we're about to get an extension of a three year contract. I think he then set up his own advertising. No, no, he those. kept the name. We tried to fight for the, the name, name. and hey. the wife just said, Listen, whatever it is that you're doing, you've already made your mark in the market. Hey. Just go ahead, start your own story and leave your own footprint. And then, ah! <laughs> <laughs> then footprints at the time. <laughs> That's Thanks, it, love. Yeah. So uh, you did go back to radio though in in that period. I of did. Time, well, we now you're starting a business. Hey. I can't really pay myself. Um, and I think that's the time I went to Gabs FM. Hey, you went and started yeah, yeah. a show with Sepon Tolle. Yeah. Uh, but you went. This was around 2004 when you went and did a show with Sepon. How was that though? Working uh, with a co-host. Uh, with Sepon. Mm, she Sepo was actually quite interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she allowed me to be the lead rap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How did it go? Why did it stop? I think <laughs> I really don't know why. why those guys that gives a film didn't really like. Me. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't understand. No, you said it's like I'm the you know I'm, I'm the Negro you love to hate. Yeah, you know. No, I know. I know. But at the same time, though, I'm trying to figure out. Honor, okay, you are such an amazing radio talent, um, mm. Maluda, and. Um, I know Honor, you'd rather also work for yourself. But why why does it seem like this relationship with you and broadcasting is what I list, it's what the, I men, the mandate was simple. There was the same people phoning Gibbs FM. So that same formula. Yeah, mm. solo They they wanted to kill they want that to kill legacy to yeah. say, listen, we just having Ray Ram Polo Milefe. Yeah, yeah. There was the other Rasta men. Uh, <laughs> extension, uh, extension <laughs> um and, and these people were just You'd listen to them. So it was almost as if it was their show. Eh. So we changed it around. That's when we got Big Fish in them. Zob, 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 eh. Zob, Zob, Zob. <laughs> And just to change the landscape of, of what, uh, what Gabs FM sounded like. Mm. I think we did a really decent job. Yeah. Uh, but those people stepped, kept penetrating. And Target Market was really complaining a lot. So The comedy CD stuff, though. I want to talk about Daisy Bird. Yeah. And um, you are, are sure, getting into Bird. doing yeah, yeah. King, comedy. Who told you you are funny, Marana? And you could actually put it on. Tape. So Daisy Bird is just hard look on Masimu and and Masimu are na labo skaba pi. Oh, we don't have mamu gear. Ah, we don't have to go museke. We don't have to go do a motokwa. Hey, we don't have to go mar ne bilhati go museke. Anyway, um, <laughs> so so when I changed it, I was so when I'm chilling out there, we don't have to go and mamu gear area. All all they wake up to is rahubana plaka kai. Hey. 
<laughs> and Gijola Leman type situation. Yeah. That's like entertainment. Yeah. Uh, Yaku, and it's really sad. Uh, I wish the dynamics were different. People are speaking about that. I think just they have been a lot of these um, murders. There was a, recently just another lady Well, not the one but, yeah. but like the, the, the lady who thing on na she she went to king so this boy raped her and then he killed her. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm just speaking about that. No, no, There's Republic, really nothing going on. No, no, there. Go Republic, it's a, it's a problem because hey. yeah, no, when the Republic is a problem because we have to go to the Republic. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, you really need to be careful. I mean, uh, my dad is late. Uh, mm. My mom, she, you know, she's, she's dealing with those people. And you know, she's, she's dealing with those people. And she's dealing with those people. Yeah. Yeah, but I told her, you know, you need to be able to protect yourself because yeah. um, we, 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 know, we know how the story goes. Yeah, we know. That's why about it's a republic, but uh, that's a story for another day. Definitely. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, the what is there? Find where to drink. So, <laughs> so Daisy Bird became this character yeah. that I would then just live so that's that's really what it's about and that's what daisy bird was really about to okay. say when am i going to get the next uh, drink and when am i going to get the next d hey bye, 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 bye. that's how they describe it um during the christmas holiday i think it was released over the christmas holidays yeah and uh the the the, the, the character one. is called daisy bird a drunkard no brain loose cannon who says all the controversy stuff yeah. while my loser just plays the radio presenter role. You guys ended up doing a, a CD. Yeah. What brought that about? Yeah, yeah. so it was just, we need to monetize this thing. Uh, we've made it really popular on the on the airwaves. Yeah. And everybody loved Daisy Bird, Daisy Lou. Yeah. Um, so yeah, went and hooked up with QBO. Mm. Uh, we recorded the series and it just started with just, people were asking for more and more of that. Yeah, yeah. So we said, if you want more and more of that, you might as well now just buy it. There's someone who, did a similar voice recently on the radio. Yeah, I nearly spoke okay one. Uh, it, hey, was, Drew. it was Drew. And I told him, it's like, it's not funny, you know? <laughs> like, Spoko is not funny, you know? And you know, uh, no, he's going to come on the show. I'm not going to be a no dealer. Okay, so I, I, I want to talk a little bit more about any of these, these collaborations that you are able to make. Because like I'm saying, you bring the clown first, but then there's actually a genius behind that. Yeah, yeah. For let's say um, for for younger people who want to monetize the ideas that they have, especially in this day and age mm. uh, with social media, you can publish almost anything. You know, H- how do you go about it? I mean, even us here, we could use some help also getting our stuff to the next level yeah, yeah. and be able to not only shoot stuff but sell it. Um, not only record. If the stuff is not believable to you, to yourself, it's not going to be believable to the next person. And it's, it's exactly that. It's a great collaboration. It's Sky. It's a great name. Local Corner. <laughs> These are well-respected entities. Yeah. And then, mm. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to hold this. I don't know how to do it. But like, I, I just want to... Like, like these young uh, people are out here. There's a lot of them popping up on these YouTubes, um, these social medias. Do you think corporate entities... Take this shit seriously. Um, yeah, I really think they do. I was in a meeting uh, recently, mm. and I was asked to facilitate this meeting, just like Kaoli Caesar and Alessol, by Juju Boy. Okay. And Juju Boy comes up with an amazing concept. Hooks up with Bampani. Mm. I then uh, handhold them with Mascom. Yeah. Mascom absolutely love it. Mm. You're about to get the mm. first local version of TikTok. It's yeah. called Impressors. Keep on on his uh, on his. Uh, oh, no, 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 they're, they're about to, they're, no, they're about to go crazy. So instead yeah. of these bana playing around, you know, banta and, yeah. and doing all sort of crazy stuff, yeah. uh, stick to the challenge. Mm. Stick to local. Yeah. But now there's an opportunity for you to win a buck a day, every single day. Huge mangas. Monster <laughs> <laughs> no, get a bag of monster. So, no, no, yeah, you you can, we can monetize them. So, but okay, so for, for, for anyone who's checking this out, and I'm sure there'll be people on the way in Francis Town where these offices are not as close as they are yeah, yeah. to a kid more, more phase two. Yeah, yeah, you Impressors. know what I mean. Let's say let's say you have this brilliant idea instead of always going to the government and, and begging for, for a handout, yeah, yeah. Uh, what just a, a, a quick 
classing yana for bona gore motho a i reng do you set up your profile i think do you i think consistency as well so i'm trying to do a lot of work and collaboration is really important with yeah. the likes of hrdc yeah. and to help monetize some of these industries yeah. so in my later year or oh, later years um after having practiced for that one year yeah. uh, i only then came back after akil said listen we need your brilliance yeah. uh, in the area of intellectual property so i've joined akil jinabai and associates we're go- yeah we're going to we're going to get into your yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah but, but the idea also is to be able to say how can i help the younger generation mm. uh in this field and many other fields because for me i cross over into other fields yeah. for instance I'm interested in more writers. Yeah. Like copywriting is something which is dead. Yeah. This is on the agency side of things. Yeah. I'm also interested in uh, the monetization yeah. of content. Yeah. Because we've got many brilliant curators that are out there. Yeah. But Banaba Mudim where do they go and where is this place? And this uh, establishment of the Arts Council yeah. is absolutely pivotal. Yeah. And it's possible for us to then be able to get segments groups. Yeah to be able to for us to be able to mentor them. Yes. Jazel Kebakile comes in she says we sort king the next generation of master of ceremony is not there. Mm. I mean the, the last person or the next the only other person that I know who's an mm. upcomer is maybe to me some mutei type thing. He's yes. absolutely amazing. Yeah. But how about the rest? We mm. need an association yeah. of voice over uh, at least rapport ne compare eh. artists eh. <coughs> and so on and so forth. So that maybe there's even a limit for like how much people can charge. Um I yes. was, especially in the creative space you know like right now um uh, let's say you are a writer for a session artist or even a performer let's say you drum at a show mm. how do we get that the minimum uh, uh, charge for batubao because what happens in Botswana, let's say as a musician, is that after a certain amount of years and whatever, yeah. they're going to try and pick up a younger one so that they can pay them less. It's the biggest problem that we're having right now in our advertising agencies uh, because we have set up an ACA, which is the Association of Communication Agencies. Eh. Things went a little bit downward because of COVID. Because eh. And I think associations like this need to be able to, to be... Uh, given the support yeah. and develop to a level where they actually have teeth like the law society for How instance. do we do that? Is that what you're doing with Bonnet? Uh, and that uh, is what we're trying because now property. we're competing with briefcase companies. Somebody doesn't have overheads. It's a, a group of young, brilliant designers. Yeah. But you will have big companies having us to say, oh, so for design and layout, or just 1.5, who now 500? So you're only as good as the marketing manager and how you align with your procurement. Because these things are not based on, 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 on any strategy. We're flying blind. The designs might look a little bit pretty, mm. but things without, all of a sudden become all over the place. And then your corporate identity manual uh, is also raped. Mm-hmm. Let's be talking about pretty things. What happened with the University of Botswana <laughs> rebranding? <laughs> that was a really great story. Yeah. Um, I think that, 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 that brand was ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. And those people didn't understand because... University of Arizona was losing a lot of quality lecturers and a lot of quality students to the university in the city of Amudi Seven Scotia. Kira William Gold, William Gold. Hey, hey, what's it? Kira Gone, ne le tsena mo di plate. But when we grew up, your aspiration was for you to go to Madikwel. Go to Madikwel or, or nothing else. Yeah. But now these days, it's like that. My daughter's uh, my daughter is enrolling in in school. University yeah. was not really a choice for her. She says yeah. BAC because that's. That's a bit more serious. And that's what it was driven by. Mm. And what they were saying, so I was working with a brilliant guy called Tebi Kalafing. Mm. Uh, we had just finished rebranding uh, University of South Africa. Mm. And, you know, research is the one that dictates that this is how you move You didn't forward. just put together images yeah, yeah. and like how people that's would it. like so to... It was, a, it, was a, it was an expensive exercise. We I'm trying to figure that out because it looked like it was done. You know, you had handed in and whatever. And then all of this <sighs> hype... All this hullabaloo happens. And do you think it was bec- it, it got more fired up because it was you specifically? No, I think it was a case of like the former leaving, like what we're having with our current presidency. Eh. So there was a, a guy called Vice Chancellor. Vice Chancellor left called Bujosi. Eh. And he didn't get too along with Fako. Eh. Fako comes in and he says, whatever that guy did. Everything for sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, we have a, a clash of egos. We just happened to be there. But also when it came to the validation, BJ was on his way out. The budget was done. Yeah. We had to do validation because after you develop these brands, you need to go out to market and educate people to say, listen, this is what the home is is thing, it's here. The book is still maintained at the top. And then where's our corn sheaf? What is maintained in the pages because we're yeah. opening a, uh, a new leaf. Yeah. And that's what that brand was really speaking to. So it was our story uh, redefined. I see. I see them coming back to that. No, but I think to that I both who both who took it. I get to come to U B and B U, mm. and then I think born only born by delay something like a B U. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I get born or oh, these ones think they're slick. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about that though. Don't worry. Every single time someone gets, especially mobile so I'm just uh, to to piggyback off about what you, you were saying. Don't worry. He lay a lot B J and then the next guy says screw everything else. Mm. Well, doesn't that seem like an integral part of? Our culture in Botswana, about anything, yeah, really including is. music, including no, 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 you try to poke holes in that, and sometimes even I know it's similar to the completely yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Is this unique to us? And how I do really you think so. I think we're a unique society. Uh, we really, we, we have a right to have a and uh, you know, we compete against each other. We don't want to see the person become too big, yeah. you know what I mean? Kilo yeah. Kilo Kal Korn, yeah, he's good, he I takes the best pictures, yeah. hey, but he's see a me alone. Yeah. No, that's wrong, we should be flying with this, yeah, yeah. So, how do like as, as okay, thank you to him. I don't yeah. expect there's you a, there's to, a, there's to a, fix a pocket, problems. there's a po no, no, there's a pocket yeah. of people that are there. And with the establishment of the Ask Council, there's a very positive lady in Shombi Ellis. Yeah, no. And it's really important for us to be able to set up these structures that are going out there so that you guys can be out there. I mean, uh, I'll let the cat out of the bag. Yeah. Uh, we've just finished developing a platform. I need to come and speak very nicely to, um, to Sol. Mm. Because for a lot of the clients that we service, we're servicing them off Shutterstock. But I don't have local corners pictures. Yeah. yeah, but I need to speak nicely to him and many other photographers. And they also need to train new photographers that are out there yeah. so that they can sustain themselves. Yeah. You're not going to get that from Shutter. How are those people that are too pretty? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, we want uh, people oh, that I'm look. <laughs> we want people that look closer to us. But yeah, so this platform is really going to be great because okay. uh, we will have our own local shutter. I know others have tried to do it, mm. but we're really trying to launch it on a bigger scale. And this goes to collaboration. Mm -hmm. I collaborated again with um, uh, with a guy called Batomatake. Yeah. Didn't know him from a can of paint. B, it's B, so it's B was there. Also, yeah, yeah, so it's B does a lot of great content, yeah. and I get to travel to the. Uh, I get to travel to the to the Delta. Yeah. But I believe that many other Botswana could afford to go to the Delta, but would rather spend our money in the Vienna, go beach. And I keep saying, Debe no so but you know. Um, how about you don't save up your money and get to see the beauty of this land? So uh Chobe Holdings, Libo Ken Dawi, Libo Think Africa, then they said, listen, run with it. So yeah. we want to see us go live yeah. uh, with regards with regards to uh, selling the local tourism product. Because it's been it's been hard. Like some of us are able to on a copanya copanya are the ready packages in the shop and get people to be able to do that. Another collaboration. Mm. Uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Young men called Tavonga Muchu uh -huh. uh, him and uh, Motelli Sweety. Yeah. Uh, these are young, young men yeah. who are doing amazing stuff with artificial intelligence. They're about to change the landscape of customer service and, and how people are serviced. Yeah. And it's not like people are going to be losing jobs. Uh -huh. And then we just said, okay, let's collaborate with each other so that we can reskill people so that machine, machine learning is going to take people out of jobs. So you don't have to know everything. Motel about the like when the boy I then grew up to know that I can't do everything. Yeah. Yes, if there are five Lusikas, Botswana would be a different place, but there's only one. And then that's when the, the, the guys that I killed, Jenna and Associates, says, mm. come and help us this, uh, establish an intellectual property wing. Okay. Um, so it's, it's like in Swamutile, I saw the sign, Yako, I killed Jenna. Is that a billboard or is that the whole office? That's the whole office. Jesus. Uh, yeah, all three floors. It's us. You see, even here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but stay well. Um, I, uh, I, I want to yeah. talk about um, you being um, a father and a, a husband for yeah, yeah. over twenty years, my man. Yeah, yeah. This is What's the twenty second. This is the twenty second year. Years. I think it's friendship. Yeah. And then my mother and I don't ag marry an ugly woman <laughs> because as you get older, you gotta uh, see a mug. Yeah, you gotta see a mug. You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, so I got married gotta to, be your friend. And I keep saying this to my wife, like I got married to the right woman uh, at the wrong time. She always mm. laughs about it because, you know, it was really difficult. The first 10 years, I was yeah. still but a boy, yeah. you know. So, it was, yeah. uh, you know, fast lane. But um, the thing is, I, 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 well, experimenting I with life and, um, and yeah, so uh, which woman could really stand for that? But after that, then um, she introduced me to some peeps. Uh, she's, uh, uh, she was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Mm. Um, and um you know uh, later then i i brought myself closer to studying the bible mm -hmm. and some of the things that they teach is really amazing because then i'm just seeing the real value of life like spending yeah. more time with family yeah. so firstly she's my friend yeah. and she's pretty and she's beautiful <laughs> and she got the brains and she's teaching me things like saying she's calm and she's calm. Like every single i've had the pleasure of meeting uh, maria but she is really really yeah. calm like it was like one of those situations it was like what does she see in him? Because yeah. you're all the way up oh, here. Oh, now when I pay. No, I told you, sir. When you pay. Father's when Day is coming up. So what, 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 what does fatherhood mean to you? I mean, you go to gym with your daughter sometimes. I yeah, see yeah, yeah. as well. You know, you got your boy who is a lot more like you. Young Ray Ray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so fatherhood to me, just you know, it's just imparting as well. And I was saying to my daughter when she finished the Form 5 that how um, kwa I studied in America because the majority of the people were talking. Babu, I'm on a very deep pudi. Wait, hello, banana, bahon, bahate, mang, banana, 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 si, like a theme. Stay here. Let me teach you a couple of things because mm. I don't know what's happened to the learning culture. But like I said, people graduate from universities, mm. and I'm I'm teaching them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, learning college, you go footprints. I was talking to this homie, Banana Bayira Airport Junction. I don't know if you know him, the light skinned brother. Yeah. Um, he's a young brother as well, and he was talking about like when he was going to school. I think it was in the UK or something like that. Um, there's an actual part of your education abono which teaches them about the meeting, like how to eat and like to eat. Hey, like like a Meeting for coffee doesn't mean you are yeah, yeah. thirsty for coffee. Yeah, yeah. And also, did the reflection But I never encourage you to It's all part of the learning, too. Yeah, yeah. Sitting down, putting your time there's, some, there's, some, there's, some, there's something that has to change in terms of that culture. Because I, I think with us, we're work ready. Uh, but people they did say that no there is a trauma because for us one how feel so we were raised with trauma and so maybe these kids raba yeah. my wife doesn't do that so my kids just really know yeah yeah that that certain things that you need to do yeah uh, so we raised them ka on hela ma itse wa swana ba go lo ba do medicine wa uh, but so I'm still old school like that, you know. Your, your, your kids are older, you know what I yeah. mean. Um, and with all of these um, mental health issues that are running around and all of that being talked about, and um, you know, there's even suicides for young people. Yeah, yeah. Um, drug, t uh, uh, you know, there's drugs all over the place. How do you make sure that you educate your children about? I think all of this our, stuff? I think our spiritual routine really helps out. So we don't do much. So yeah, so mm. Jehovah is the one who's really teaching. Help me teach like yes. this because we have family worship today it's monday um we go to we go to the meetings on on thursday but we learn so we learn mm. different things but then there'll be a topic about how a husband should think and every day daily text yeah. so daily text will speak about something that's interesting it's biblically based yeah. but it'll be like how a husband needs to treat a father yeah. so they would have known what a papa kind of mini because no some yeah. so it's there so we're policing each other and and you know we're using we're using that tool uh, to be able to handle those issues yeah um yeah no it's a template yeah so friendship <laughs> friendship and the <laughs> moving right along right um do you celebrate father's day i don't celebrate father's day we don't celebrate christmas we don't celebrate oh Ghana, it's the church. we don't celebrate uh we don't celebrate uh easter because really to cut a long story short uh, a lot of these uh festivities mm. uh are deeply pagan uh, interested in, in, in pagan worship so we we worship a jealous god and what worship we are in so that's why we don't touch that <laughs> 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 okay, um, I'm going, I'm going to talk about the fight that you got into with Robbie Rob yeah, for 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 charity, the feel good fight. Yeah. Um it happened on December 11th. Was it 2 years ago? Yeah, yeah. Hey. During COVID, yeah. What what possessed you to get in that thing with that big guy? No, listen. 
uh, it's the same issues of GRE <laughs> that we were speaking about <laughs> earlier, and that was really what was affecting me to say ban na babuzo na kari week. So it's to the main aim here says is to stimulate the public through the yeah, community if mobilization. Angry, if you are angry, punch the bag. So there was a whole campaign that was run, mm -hmm. uh, but women's affairs didn't really cling on to this thing properly mm -hmm. and i and i really think there's really a space because you can see the first lady is really interested in in driving that narrative and that agenda mm -hmm. and it's important for us to you know revisit her and see her but getting into that ring was also about a personal journey mm -hmm. uh, because you know, <laughs> and i really wanted to i really wanted to 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 to, to lose weight so it was, it was about the losing weight journey yeah. while spreading a positive message and then getting into the ring it was just really about you know the sparring you know the technical skill on what bond boxing could do and what dread could do awesome stuff um, um the, the 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 president speaks a lot about mindset and change uh, mindset changes and you're one of those people who have like a very unique perspective of the botswana context and also how you can use what you've learned outside to to better yourself here mm. in, in bw um this is it a far reach it's a far reach. I think what needs to happen, like I said, I keep speaking about these silos. I think you can't work in silos, but let's just develop mm. these small pockets yeah. of resistance yeah. to the ones who don't want to change. Yeah. And that's how it is. It also goes, it's the same thing with brands. How do we build a great nation brand? Yeah. Because I'm very big into brand development. Mm. Let's build strong individual brands. Pudi, yeah. mm. yeah. local corner, footprints. This helps yeah. us to build a great nation brand. So mm. on the 22nd mm. um, of June, mm. um, um, and I'm hoping uh, this could be hosted at Botswana Stock Exchange, but mm. yeah, uh, Babutan Investment and Trade Center have partnered with us. Mm. Brand Africa, mm. we do it every year. So this is the 12th oh, edition. Oh yeah, you where, gave out those awards. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. Happy, it happens every single year. Something that's, that, that's, that happens around Africa Day, mm. but the idea is that we want more of our Botswana brands to make it onto the top 100 chart. Mm. And I remember uh, all Cassie was on there. Oh yeah, they um, have the number number was BK on the BK project. Yeah, BK BK starting to do really well, mm -hmm. and they're using uh, a huge online uh, research company called Canter and Geopol. So they're really really big. Yeah. The next year we'll even go further and commission an in-country uh, study, okay. just to get more of Botswana to be more proud yeah. about their local brands. <laughs> because you'll find that a lot of people barata mo a lot of people barata local corn, mm. um, and we just need to get those insights out. But because you're not fully out there. Yeah. In the in the on the World Wide Web, uh, uh, on the digital diaspora, yeah. um, uh, <laughs> then maybe uh, your hits may be lower than than, than others. I want to head back again more on intellectual property uh, department. The Ilwanga Yenuko that killed Jeno by firm. Um, what, what's going to be different between what Bokos Bots and Bosipa are doing? Um, well, what I are think you guys trying I think to it's do just for? An, it's an enhancement. It's not only for musicians. I get it. It's even yeah, yeah. for. It's for, for corporates, for corporates what, videographers, yeah. just to make sure that works are protected. Okay. There's a lot of cases right now that are taking place. Yeah. Uh, I know there's a United Ports at Texas, there's someone who's suing, yeah. speaking about plagiarism. Diamond Company. They're speaking about um, how that trip to Dubai, somebody says that it was the idea from before and it was shared. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we really. We really want people that when they sign agreements or they or they get into uh, into into any idea or mm. <laughs> uh, or create anything new, yeah. uh, they come through our door so that we can build and help our winners. I think uh, Sipa is uh, uh, Sipa is not going to be able to do this by because they don't themselves. talking a little bit because I'm trying to see relation. I'm a little by law. I can like it's more loud. Listen, for instance. Um, Somebody can go and set up a company that said now baby's a motor cent M O T O S E N T A. Yeah, but intellectual property rights. Uh, yeah. even, like for, even for the for for the Dada family, they need yeah. to be protected because even the sounding of it, yeah. uh, people can be misled. Yeah. Um, but a lot okay. of our marks, a lot of our brands. A lot of our works are actually not protected. I was telling So it's so it's a huge it's a big deal. So it's a big deal, and monetarily wise, it'll keep me busy for for some time. No, oh, not rot that hold. Eh, no, but I was uh, checking out like some picture at Oriental Plaza, and these dudes are selling Builders World T-shirts. <laughs> Builders World. We yeah, put yeah. Like, so, but it also World. goes into things like contracts. Eh. You're always getting situations where 
Rui Taylor dili ke tsitse black coffee the contracts are not adi sharp o Franco le nomaro bana ro kolota jamalu o go gapa traka you know i just want to be able to help our artists draft better contracts uh, and negotiate better contracts uh, so i think that's where the space that i'll be able to fill in in ip and also help in the creative industry too and to protect themselves better uh, uh, and to help uh, them to save because financial literacy is also really dear and close to my heart being definitely. married to a banker first year of marriage they'll save 100 pull every month second year but it's 200 300 you learn it's like 1.5 years after 15 years no no kick shop but people need to get into that culture save a little it really makes a difference because my dear already two seconds you said in the buying how it's a matter that day both industrial revolution is something that you know what i i know is is close to your heart I, i don't know if you want to speak to that a little yeah, bit yeah i think i touched on it a little bit earlier mm. but uh Uh, like i said it's it's about collaboration so what has happened to the advertising industry we were we were really chucked into the fourth industrial revolution yeah. because a lot of the content is about creating brand personas mm. and mostly in the online space that's where this is happening so we're building digital ecosystems at footprints mm. which is really you know it's really different so yeah. i'm very old school yeah. not about below the line above the line hey. <laughs> hey. i was i was but, talking about it yeah, but do, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's what we're doing so i become really strong with that and we were really strong on strategy so hey. the young generation they really great with what they're doing in the digital space hey. and co- com, you know combining that with my knowledge and yeah. my wisdom in, in in 25 years of experience yeah. really really makes us uh, a, a go-to entity in terms of being able to provide you with the old uh, the new yeah. but with structure <sighs> that must be hard though just thinking about it honor okay cool uh, everyone now i mean it looks like they're not even investing on physical um advertising yeah, yeah. as much as they used no, to no, but it's everything wrong. is going there has to be, there the has to be there has to be a balance because uh, Botswana is very urban but it's also very 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 rural yeah. um we've been uh, running a campaign with Botswana Savings Bank to try and get hold but hold we said bukatsa we have to speak a totally different language but we also have to be in the trenches yeah. <laughs> making sure that we're out there rwela ba sedi baholo door to door so those campaigns are still very important but you do couple them with the digital space so as i was doing that yeah. i'd have the voice online uh broadcasting that to an audience of over a, a million people awesome stuff live so there is a middle ground you you are finding that middle ground oh, no, between no. rural botswana and very uh, botswana. Very messaging high lord yeah very important, important. and speaking venek as well you know ah definitely no i absolutely love it and I, i'm just going to shut it down though i don't know what are you currently working on ronanyana uh <laughs> I don't know ke eh ke mo komiti nya masita o ka eh eh na re batla gore re ise madi ka re batla re ga stadia eh stadia mo se le se rile se se mo le pole nya ga se sa rona oh okay all right no i feel you because <laughs> no, no, no i i i do feel you because yeah, the yeah. Thing, I, think, I think i think the motto really for 2023 is collaborate or die yeah. i'm doing artificial intelligence work with uh, Xavier Africa mm-hmm. um and uh, Xavier AI Uh, I'm doing a lot of tourism related work. Yeah, see so you uh, all the time in the northern part yeah, of the country. Yeah, Chobe Holdings, uh Batomot like a chocolate brown. Mm-hmm. Um I'm doing collaborations with the likes of Bo Juju Monster, yeah. uh, Impressors. Um I'm going to call him when we leave. And then yeah, um HRDC yeah. um uh, uh, coming up with uh, a program um that is really really great thinking. Are we training the mm. employee Wakamoso. Yeah. And that's what we need to think about. So the cost is still linked in about customer service. Does something need to happen? And do people need to be reskilled? Yeah. And that's where that's where you know that's where I come up with some of these ideas. So I can almost six nine here like on the blind. And you have really open minded CEOs and MDs. No, but what are these days like okay, so they really they really out there they're really willing to have conversations. Yeah. So hello I got to hire no my new collaboration yeah. is it uh new one and uh and with Pudi Cast and and, and local corner yeah. so that we can uh, uh be able to help industries because it's gonna change somebody's life. Yeah. It doesn't have to be ten thousand people. People, even if it changes 10 10 lives what it is that we did here today then so be it are you into forex i'm not into forex why not um ga ke motho a o rata madia a speed okay i'll tell you something about like some of the kids that i go to school with kolim kora some of them are raising like guys are walking around paid like about 10,000 tena which is i think is also a good thing um because Listen, you know, it's great, by it's the great. time you get out of university yeah. you'll have maybe a starting capital for what you want to do 
But it's also I think bad. Becomes addic- like, because it becomes, becomes addictive. addictive. Yeah. So I know a lot about that, you know. Hey. <laughs> so so really addictive culture, you need to stay away from it. Yep. And that's what I kept telling Bisao. I'm into small money. But answer because sometimes greed, uh, you spend all your time worrying about about money. So I've enjoyed a good quality of of life mm-hmm. uh, because I've really been content with the little things. Definitely. And that, that's what is important. Maybe that's why I'm not into forex. No, I so doubt. You're coming in from from Maleps. Why aren't you coming in from your office? Um, so not from your house, actually. So property is really important. Um, uh, I'm really big on property development. Hey. And uh, there's a new shopping mall, mm-hmm. and then taking a lot of footy by footy. So, I'm trying to put some units so that the managers that are there, but on the awesome so stuff, it's really great for, for you to be an, a total human being. Mm. So, I've known enough, I haven't built my you know my first house and then my second house, yeah, but to be able to understand where the shortcuts were, where, where, where mistakes were made. Yeah. So, I know construction, I know quite a bit about that. Awesome stuff. Are we yeah. ever going to see you broadcasting again? I, I've, I've seen you facilitating. Um, I think events. so. So, Loose Gone, so check it out. We've got Loose Gone Wild. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a tourism um, uh, product. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I've been approached by a certain gentleman who now help you from the comfort of your home. I think my father needs that thing. Yeah, yeah. So you'll be able to see what was in home with me. If you do a Mudisa, it's about to be launched. And Whoa, then I work with okay. the other, another collaboration with a gentleman called Mpatis. Mm-hmm. So Mpatis, what they do, how na lo komo batlang horo erekise. They've got a platform mm. where people are populating. There's quite huge. Why do uh, I think you're making these things for yourself? It's smoke dinya. No, no, <laughs> no, no. They're huge. I mean, they just they're just there. But look it up. Mpatis, the Mpatis. No, it's something that I so, can use as yeah, well. Yeah. So how na le leb leb? How na le leb leb? We access leb leb. You go to Mpatis. Somebody's gonna pick that up. Ba ako na ba other things. Oh, atakonya na ba tito komesa ba kadi? You put it on that app. They're huge. So we can company and lead these guys. So I'm trying to get them to collaborate. Whoa. And then digital natives. Another young brilliant Motswana who's got offices in Mauritius mm. and thing he's selling things on an Africa wide scale I'll give you a typical example mm. people in Ghana like Echo Beef yeah. he finds he sources those markets through this app Bam <laughs> Rumpi enough sorghum you can get a group of farmers in Zim or in, in Zambia yeah Cut the price so that BAM can be supplied at a lower price. I so, think that, yeah, the lesson so to do the, this collaborative you know, thing is, is absolutely yeah. humongous. So I'm trying to get these three apps to be able to work with each other. Yeah. I'm a middleman, obviously. <laughs> 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 Thank you so so much for hanging out with Thank us. Thank you so much. And uh, well, I'll definitely see you next time. I uh, to you know follow up on all of these uh, projects that you're working on. And yeah. we really really appreciate your time, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Away, away, away. And that's our show. Peace. different identities Ooh, podcast with BSCAA